You know, when you're about to buy a home, very often you will be choosing a real estate agent. As it turns out, there's about 10,000 real estate agents in the greater Jacksonville area, many of which have just graduated from real estate school. Not a lot of experience. However, there are people here in town, I'm going to introduce you to one, who not only have been doing real estate for a very long time, but actually run a real estate school. I'd like to introduce you to a very good friend of mine, Cynthia Gibbons from Exit Real Estate Gallery and First Coast School of Real Estate. Cynthia, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Well, I am very respectful of new real estate agents who recently graduated from school. How does running the First Coast School of Real Estate help you in your individual performance when you're caring to a customer who's selling or buying a home? Well, running a real estate school gives me as an agent more value. Uh, people respect the fact that I know contracts. I am very versed in the laws and I take pride in educating and making sure other agents have that same pride that I have. Right, you know that chapter 475. Oh, yes I do. <laughs> Inside out and upside down, that's excellent. Tell me this, I, I often have the experience uh, as a person who's a, a true student of my own mm -hmm. profession, that when you bring something into a transaction that you know is correct by statute and procedure, yet it may be foreign to the other agent that you're speaking to. Right. How do you manage that conflict of knowing you're correct, but knowing that correctness isn't common? Well, for me, if I notice that there is some type of challenge there, I like to verbally speak with the other agent and advise them or let them know not only that I'm running a school, not only that I'm very versed in the contracts, but that the contracts change every year. There's right. some type of updates and sometimes people are not aware of the little updates that can be a big effect on a transaction. So sometimes it's just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your colleague that, hey, this has changed, this might affect this transaction in a big way, and that way you're not um, offending anyone. Right, so you truly have the heart of a teacher. Right. And, and, and I see that also on the home inspection side. There's people who may have been in the industry five years or 10 years or mm -hmm. 20 years or 30 years. Things are ever evolving. Right. And if you're not deeply involved in personal education and sharing education, mm -hmm. you kind of get behind and you get frustrated. Right, we yeah, get in our little that. groove and you're like, okay, we're in the groove, but there are changes and we have to stay on top of the changes because we are the professional. Share your thoughts with me, if you would, on, on in-person education versus online education. What's the pros and cons as you see it? Well, the con to online um, education is that you don't have that person. You can bounce that yeah. question off in the moment. The interaction. That, right, so if you're confused, with some of the online courses, there's no one for you to reach out to. Right. There are others that you can email, but a lot of questions happen right in the moment, right when that lesson or information is being given that people are confused. And as a, um, a pro of being in person, I get to see the confusion in your face. Right. And so I get a lot of gratitude out of making that light bulb go off and students understanding, oh, this is why you yeah. have to do this but you can literally see it in their faces and some students won't step up and say, I don't understand that because they don't want to be embarrassed. Right, right. So as an instructor, it's my job to pay attention to each individual and I'll stop in the middle of the lesson to make sure everyone Excellent. is understanding what we're talking Excellent. about. You know, in my own education, I have a contractor's license, a home inspector license, mm -hmm. a WDO license and a few others. To meet my statutory requirements each year or each cycle, mm -hmm. I usually do it online. Mm -hmm. However, to learn something, right. I virtually always learn in person and I meet the requirements online. Right. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's blasphemous or not. Well, it's, it's what we do as people and I've done the online and reading and rereading and rereading and to me, being in person in a class is more informative and impactful right. because you're gonna get examples that you take away with you. So when you're in that situation, you're like, oh, I remember she said this happened versus you being online and not having. Really experiencing. Right. Well, I thank you for sharing that. I want to thank Cindy Givens from Exit Real Estate Gallery for being with us today. If you're interested in a career in real estate, she's a wonderful person, a delightful instructor at the First Coast School of Real Estate. And Cynthia asked me to share with you that she loves her broker, Sonny Downey. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more, 
visit us at jacksonvillebuzz.com. Stay with us. Right back.